how many holes does a straw have? And you, listener, may uh, try to answer that in your own head. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take a drink while everybody thinks about it so we can give you a moment. A slow sip. Is it uh, zero, one, or two, or mo more than that, maybe? Maybe you can get very creative. But uh, it's kind of interesting to uh, each uh, dissecting each answer as you do in the book is quite brilliant. People should definitely check it out. But if you could try to answer it now, like think about all the options and why they may or may not be right. Yeah, and it's one of, it's one of these questions where people on first hearing it think it's a triviality and they're like, well, the answer is obvious. And then what happens if you ever ask a group of people this, something wonderfully comic happens, which is that everyone's like, well, it's completely obvious. And then each person realizes that half the person, the other people in the room have a different obvious answer yeah. for the way they have. And then people get really heated. People are like, I can't believe that you think it has two holes or like, I can't believe that you think it has one. And then, you know, you really like people really learn something about each other and people get heated. I mean, can we go through the possible options here? Is it zero, one, two, three, ten? 10? <laughs> sure. So I think, you know, most people, the zero holers are rare. They would say like, well, look, uh, you can make a straw by taking a rectangular piece of plastic and closing it up. The rectangular piece of plastic doesn't have a hole in it. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't poke a hole in it when I... Yeah. So how can I have a hole? They'd be like, it's just one thing. Okay. Most people don't see it that way. That's like... Uh, um, Is there any truth to that kind of conception? Yeah, I think that would be somebody whose account... I mean... <sighs> What I would say is you could say the same thing um, about a bagel. You could say I can make a bagel by taking like a long cylinder of dough, which doesn't have a hole, and then smushing the ends together. Now it's a bagel. So if you're really committed, you can be like, okay, a bagel doesn't have a hole either. But like, who are you if you say a bagel doesn't have a hole? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so that's almost like an engineering definition of it. Okay, fair enough. So what's what about the other options? Um. So, you know, one whole people would say, um, I like well, how these are like groups of people, like where we've planted our foot. Yes, this is where we stand one for. There's books written about um, each belief. You know, would say, look, there's like a hole and it goes all the way through the straw, right? There's, it's one region of space that's the hole. Yeah. And there's one. And two whole people would say, like, well, look, there's a hole in the top and the hole at the bottom. Um, I think a common thing you see when people, um, argue about this. They would take something like this uh, bottle of water I'm holding. Maybe I'll open it. And they say, well, how many holes are there in this? And you say, like, well, there's one. There's one hole at the top. Okay, what if I, like, poke a hole here so that all the water spills out? Yeah. Well, now it's a straw. Yeah. So if you're a one hole, or I say to you, like, well, how many holes are in it now? There was, a, there was one hole in it before, and I poked a new hole in it. Mm -hmm. And then you think there's still one hole, even though there was one <laughs> hole and I made one more? <laughs> Clearly not. This is two holes. Yeah. Um, and yet, if you're a two hole or the one hole, we'll say like, okay, where does one hole begin and the other hole end? Yeah. Like what's it like? And um, and in the in the book, I sort of you know, in math, there's two things we do when we're faced with a problem that's confusing us. Um, we can make the problem simpler. That's what we were doing a minute ago when we were talking about high dimensional space. And I was like, let's talk about like circles and line segments. Let's like go down a dimension to make it easier. Uh, the other big move we have is to make the problem harder and try to sort of really like face up to what are the complications. So, you know, what I do in the book is say like, let's stop talking about straws for a minute and talk about pants. Mm -hmm. How many holes are there in a pair of pants? So I think most people who say there's two holes in a straw would say there's three holes in a pair of pants. Mm -hmm. I guess I, I mean, I guess we're filming only from here. I could take up. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm, I'm, you just have to imagine the pants. Sorry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Lex, if you want to. No, okay, no. Yeah. Um, uh, that's going to be in the director's cut. It's the Patreon only footage. <laughs> there you go. So many people would say there's three holes in a pair of pants. But, you know, for instance, my daughter, when I asked this, by the way, talking to kids about this is super yeah, fun. I highly recommend it. Um, what did she say? She said, well, yeah, I feel a pair of pants, like, just has two holes because yes, there's the waist, but that's just the two leg holes stuck together. Whoa. Okay. Two leg holes. Yeah. Okay. Right. I mean, that really she's is a, a one holer for the, for the straw. So she's a one holer for the straw too. And, um, and that really does capture something. It captures this fact 
which is central to the theory of what's called homology, which is like a central part of modern topology, that um, holes, whatever we may mean by them, there are somehow things which have an arithmetic to them. There are things which can be added, like the waist, like waist equals leg plus leg is kind of an equation, but it's not an equation about numbers. It's an equation about some kind of geometric, some kind of topological thing, which is very strange. And so, you know, where I come down, um, you know, like a rabbi, I like to kind of like, come up with these answers to somehow like dodge the original question and yeah. say like you're both right my children okay so <laughs> yeah uh so for the straw for the for the straw i think what a modern mathematician would say is like the first version would be to say like well there are two holes but they're really both the same hole mm -hmm. well that's not quite right a better way to say it is there's two holes but one is the negative of the other now what can that mean um one way of thinking about what it means is that if you sip something like a milkshake through the straw, no matter what, the amount of milkshake that's flowing in one end, that same amount is flowing out the other end. So they're not independent from each other. There's some relationship between them. In the same way that if you somehow could like suck a milkshake through a pair of pants, mm -hmm. the amount of milkshake, just go with me on this, yeah, experiment. I'm, the, I'm right there the with The amount you. of milkshake that's coming in the left leg of the pants plus the amount of milkshake that's coming in the right leg of the pants is the same that's coming out the uh, the waist of the pants. So just so you know, I fasted for 72 hours yesterday, uh, the last three days. So I just broke the fast with a little bit of food yesterday. So this is like, this sounds... Uh, food analogies or metaphors for this podcast work wonderfully because I can intensely picture it. Is that your weekly routine or just in preparation for talking about geometry for three hours? Yeah, exactly. You need to go, you need to for this. <laughs> it's hardship to, uh, to purify the mind. No, it's for the first time. I just wanted to try the experience. Oh, wow. And just to, uh, to pause, to do things that are out of the ordinary, to pause and to uh, reflect on how grateful I am to be just alive and be able to do all the cool shit that I get to do. So, did you drink water? Yeah. Yes. 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 Water and salt. So, like electrolytes and all those kinds of things. But anyway, so the inflow on the top of the pants equals to the outflow on the bottom of the pants. Exactly. So this idea that, I mean, I think you know, Poincaré really had these i this idea, this sort of modern idea. I mean, building on stuff that other people did. Uh, Betty is an important one of this kind of modern notion of relations between holes. But the idea that holes really had an arithmetic, the, the really modern view was really Emmy Nurter's idea. So she kind of comes in and sort of truly puts the subject uh, on its modern footing that we have that we have now. So, you know, it's always a challenge, you know, in the book, I'm not going to say I give like a course so that you read this chapter and then you're like, oh, it's just like I took like a semester of algebraic mm -hmm. topology. It's not like this. And it's always a, you know, it's always a challenge writing about math because, there are some things that you can really do on the page and the math is there. And there's other things which it's too much in a book like this to like do them all the page. You can only say something about them, if that makes sense. Um, so, you know, in the book, I try to do some of both. I try to do, I try to, topics that are, you can't really compress and really truly say exactly what they are in this amount of space. Um, I try to say something interesting about them, something meaningful about them so that readers can get the flavor. Um, and then in other places, I really try to get up close and personal and really do the math and have it take place on the page. To, uh, to, to some degree, be able to give inklings of the beauty of the subject. Yeah, I mean, there's, you know, there's a lot of books that are like, I don't quite know how to express this well. I'm still laboring to do it, but um, there's a lot of books that are about stuff but I want my books to not only be about stuff, but to actually have some stuff there on the page in the book for people to interact with directly and not mm -hmm. just sort of hear me talk about distant features about dis dis dif distant features of it.